what's up guys welcome back it's been a while i've been a little bit busy with other stuff so today we are going to pick up from here we stop i remember in our last video we worked on the video upload functionalities so today we are going to work on the home page so we want to be able to display all public videos on our home page remember there's a kind of a property on the video model you can decide if your video should be public or private so if it's a private video only the owner of the video can see their videos but when it's public every other users can watch the video so we're going to display all public videos on our home page and also want the users to be able to see all their videos in their own channels page so these are the two um, functionalities we want to implement in this very video all right so if we go to our home page now we have no view setup we have no rat so you get page not found because there's no rat there's no view for it yet all right so we're going to start in from there if you're just joining us for the very first time please check other parts of the series and uh, follow along and don't forget to subscribe give a like for the video so without wasting much of our time let's quickly uh, dive into our code so we're going to create the view function for the home page and if you notice in our code we'll be using only function based view i purposely did that so i want this uh, series to just be a functional programming and uh, paradigm and uh, maybe in our next project we'll use a uh, class and base views all true so i just want this video just to be only a function based view so the base view then our next project will work with a class based view all right so that's for that so um let's create a define the view for our index page you can call it index or call it home whatever you choose we're going to take a request this is just a normal view and here yeah, we're gonna get all our videos I seen all videos variable now if we create like this we'll get all the videos both the private and the uh, not private videos and uh, that's public videos so but we want just the public videos so we're gonna further filter those uh, all video by just saying all videos which goes to all videos those feature video detail underscore underscore visibility you see I think that's correct let's double check our spellings yeah video detail that's the same the relationships kind of inverse if we are actually querying for you can see we are trying to access the video details from the video model so if we actually had a related uh, name to it we would have used the related name but because we don't have the related name so we just use the name of the model in all lower case followed by any feed that we want in this case we want the visibility feed which is a boolean feed so we want it when it is true all right, so that's how we are doing this like this. What to do is pass it into our contest. I say contest equal to where we have videos equal all videos. So that's for that. So we're gonna run turn our render inside the videos slash index dot html. in the contest so that's that so inside our template we're going to create a folder called videos and inside videos we're going to create uh, the index dot html okay all right that's all about our index view so URS file will quickly import the index function. Alright, so that's that. 
then we create a simple route for it just um, get our comma right pass for the path template remember we have a, a design template already so i'm going to grab my i think i have it here youtube glow ui inside this ui we have the different templates so i'll leave a link to this template in case you don't have it you can get it from the get up that's the template we are using for this uh, project so let's uh, let me just open this features locals and grab all the code okay so just to control uh, as you, so let's just paste first then we'll do our cleanup okay we don't need all these things we coming from our base so i believe the cleanup is not something new so i don't want to waste time doing all this so i'm going to pause the video and quickly clean up our templates then we'll proceed from there all right i've cleaned up the templates bringing the base the html loading our static and our block head title block content and then here we just have a little container a little banner at the top and that's it and secondly we have a card i do, I do a little changes in the template we are using flex before and uh, with so i change it to grid so in case you are using the same template as mine just change us to grid and we obtain with css grid columns and uh, with gap and all that and uh, putting card here if you save and uh, let's quickly preview you see when we refresh we have our template ranging already okay that's for that you can see the template but here we don't have um, our thumbnail and all that are not showing because we've naturally bringing the dynamic uh, content in so we'll bring that in now so every other thing is rendered properly and bring in our dynamic content now so I run the card yes we're going to put in our dynamic content so we're going to look through it by saying for let's say from video in videos as I'll cut it so let's um, end for right so we're going to end for here okay right here so in our thumbnail so we're going to get our thumbnail we're going to see thumbnail is going to be the URL and here the channel art so here we're going to have the video title so here we're going to see here we're going to have video dot so let's see if I quickly check if our code is working properly so if we refresh now all right we don't have any uh, video files in our database i remember that it had all the videos we are using to test that's why nothing shows up so i'll quickly create some videos like two or three so we can see our videos okay guys i've uploaded um, two sample videos so let's check it out so if we check it out you can see our two sample videos the thumbnail is showing up the video title is showing up and also the video title then the channel art also this is the admin and uh, channel that's showing up so we need to bring in the channel name so we naturally bring in the channel name so let's quickly bring in the channel name here so we there's a space for the channel name here so we're going to bring in the channel name here I simply saying videos video dot channel dot name I guess so let's quickly check so for now we've not be we not get our view count because we've not uh, implemented that functionality yet so we'll just leave this uh, static and view count here first so let's quickly save and uh, head back if we refresh okay we can get our channel name showing up ok 
okay so we can just uh, style this and title a little bit so i can look nice so we'll just add some few css class to the title so, all right so the test is looking better now so we just quickly add it then capitalize and a little font width to it so that's for that okay so we can get our video displayed in our home page okay so we're going to head to our channel's page and make sure to display our videos also in our channel's page right so we can and uh, click on this video because we now implement our details page and also secondly we will not uh, make this link work so if you see it's showing create channel when this user is already having a channel so what we're going to do now we're going to kind of change this and uh, when the user already have a channel we don't want it to show create channel instead you should show your channel so we're going to do that now so let's quickly implement that so that we can display our video in our channel's page yes it's in the base file so where we have a create channel okay yeah so we're going to do some check if the user already have a channel you should show um your channel x it should be create channel and for us to do that we are going to create a custom template tag because this is in the base file so we're going to use a template tag when i mean by template tag template tag are things like this when you say low static this is a template tag so we're going to create our custom template tag to check if the user has a channel so to do that we go to the uh, app file the app node, not the uh, youtube app no not here yeah this inside our youtube app here we're going to create a, a a folder call it template tags so inside this template now we're going to make it a module so inside we're going to create the underscore underscore init dot underscore underscore pi file to make it a python module okay inside we're going to create the Five or we're gonna call it. You can call it any name you want. Let's call it channel underscore check dot pi. All right. Here we're gonna import a few things. First of all, we're gonna import from Django. We're gonna import template because what we're gonna do now is concerning the template. So we're gonna import template and also we're gonna import from we're gonna import the model which is the channel model because when we check if the user has a channel so we need to we need the channel model so when you see from uh app name called you what about the channel all right so this is what we need so we're going to create a register and we'll call the template dot library create a register so it says a register a register a class for registering template tags and filters so what we're trying to do now we are registering the template tag that we want to create so we we'll use this register to register the template tag so here we're going to say pass the register as, as a decorator we'll say register.filter and we'll give a name to our template tag that we want to create now I'm going to call it has underscore channel. All right, has underscore channel, and here we're going to define the has underscore channel function, which is going to take in the user I want to check for. All right, so first we're going to put in the try and try and uh, set block so we're going to try and get the channel by just creating a variable called channel which is equal to the channels model that objects that gets also equal to the user all right is it because the user that is passed to this uh, template uh, tag all right so you know if the user so we're gonna say accept accept channel 
does not exist all right so i said the channel does not exist so if the channel does not exist we're going to return false as the user does not have a channel else we're going to return true the user has a channel all right that's it that's just about our temp and then we're going to bring it into our back to our base file here we're going to load in our custom and template tag that we just created just the way we load our static we're going to load load and we call the channel channel underscore check that's what we called it all right so we're going to load start and channel underscore check then once we load it we can use it in our uh, We're going to create the check so we're going to say if requests that user then we'll use the all operator has channel that's what we call our template and tab if he has a channel we we'll show a, a link Then S, if you don't have a channel, we want to show this and uh, create channel. So here we're gonna end if and if, all right. So if the user does not have a channel, it's gonna show this. If he has a channel, we're gonna just kind of um, copy this link here change to your channel alright so we're going to create a link now I think we have our link here we and then we we'll call it let's do that we'll go to my channel Alright, so passing the slug feed. Remember our slug is the username, so user that username. Alright, that will be the slug. So that's if the user have a channel. Then if the user does not have a channel, we want to link to create channel page. So I'll create channel. Alright. So that's for that. I think every other thing is intact. Okay, let's save it now and uh, check if everything is running properly. If we go back and refresh, sorry. Alright, guys, there was no error in our code. What we just needed to do is to restart our server. So I just restart my server and then reload my template. It's working fine. So when you create a custom, uh, template tag you have to reload your server you can see now you're having your channel because this saying logged in user has a channel so if it doesn't have a channel you see the create channel here so now we can head over to our channel and you can see we have our channel here now all right so what we're going to do next is to display our videos in our own channel so that we can have access to our own videos also so that's going to be very simple to do so we're going to head back to our code and I think we already have so here yeah, we're going to get our videos also so we're going to create for our videos let's go object call the channel we already created for my channel here so we're going to check with channel because my channel so once we have it we add it to our contest alright so we already have that in our contest so we'll save this now we'll go to the channels and page templates. This is our templates. We head to channels. I think in the channels home page. So we're going to get check where we have. Okay, we have an uh, uploaded videos. Which is up to be here.
whatever we actually changes to a grid or so just we will change the home page on also to a grid and that's for that so we're going to change it to grid so and then use a card itself this width so that's what we're going to do i want to pause the video and quickly do that now so here we're going to look through just like we always do so we're going to see for See views and my videos. That's all called it. So we're gonna end for here. So let's open this up and then Have the thumbnail do the same thing. Let's say feed that video. The channel name. Is this supposed to be all right so that's for that okay so let's quickly save and check if we get it right let's head back to channel's page and just refresh let's go to okay we are having our videos but for some reason you told me i'm not equal in our thumbnail, let's add the CSS class. Uh, let's give it to be 100 and H40. I guess so. It's supposed to be H full, not H400. H full. Alright. That means I think you should take the full width of the card. So if we save. Alright, you can see the thumbnail are equal. The title is here, the title is here, and the channel art is here. Um, there's something I really want to check out. Yeah, I noticed in YouTube they don't really display the channel name again inside the channel, so we're going to take that out now. So here where we have the channel name we're going to take that out it's not needed anymore so we'll take that one out now okay so we don't want the channel name anymore because in our original youtube we just display the title the views and the timeline so that's for that fresh if we come to videos you see we have our thumbnail our channel icon title and just the view and date all right so we can see our channel our videos in our channel and also if we go to our home page so last thing i will do all these links are not working so i have to put in the links i'll do that now when i end this video so so we can just easily navigate to our home page and to the upload page these links are not working so that's for that so i'll end this video here in our next video we'll start implementing the video this page you know, the watch page where users can watch the videos like comment and see recommended videos and all that so that's all we're diving into in our next video all right guys don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up hope you learned something thank you